Well, Kobani is strategically a very important city located right on the border with Turkey, and the US-led coalition has been launching airstrikes against jihadists there on a regular basis recently. Syria-based observers say Islamic State has now captured a third of Kobani. The Kurds say they can't hold out on their own and need heavy weapons. Well, our correspondent Rina Galushka is not far from where the fighting is taking place. So let's cross live to her now. Um, Irina, from where you are, does it appear that the fighting has intensified or is there any de-escalation? <laughs> I would not say that there is any de-escalation whatsoever. Well, on the one hand, you have the airstrikes after we've gotten here literally less than an hour ago. Uh, we could see uh, at least two of them actually hitting Kobani uh, from where I'm standing. And as you can see, there is still smoke rising. That's the scene of some of the most... The, first of all, that is where the airstrikes have hit Kobani. Um, that area, I believe, is still controlled by the uh, Kurdish militias. But other than that, uh, we do know that the other side, the left side, is actually actually controlled by uh, by the Islamic State jihadists. Now, if they do take over this border town, it means that they're now controlling the biggest part of the border of a NATO ally. Um, of, uh, with Syria. Uh, now, people, of course, are trying to flee the area. We know that at least uh, 200,000, 20,000 people have already fled. Uh, they're trying to make their way into into Turkey, but not all of them are succeeding. The Turkish officials sometimes even go as far as using tear gas against uh, the refugees. In fact, we can see, we have seen a pile, literally a, an entire pile of cars uh, that are standing uh, on the border, on the Syrian part of the border, because they want to make it into Turkey, but they're simply not allowed to. Uh, gunfire, shelling, uh, in fact, just a couple of days ago, a shell has landed not too far from where I'm standing. So really, to talk about the de-escalation would be a big mistake. It's definitely not what's happening here. And as far as the airstrikes and their productivity, well, they don't seem to deter the Islamic State uh, uh, jihadists uh, uh, by far. And of course, the Kurds also are saying that they would like to see some sort of uh, uh, reinforcement because they're simply tired of holding out for as long as they have, more than 20 days at this point, uh, but whether or not that actually will be the case is not yet clear. Also, we have tanks, uh, also uh, Turkish tanks on the border are here, but whether or not Ankara will actually use them, we do not know. And I believe you can actually hear and see more of the more another airstrike that just hit it and there are people standing on this side and uh, I'm going to take a step away and you can see possibly the cloud uh, r rising right over there. Every time uh, we have a hit from the airstrikes the people who have gathered here on the Turkish border with Syria they start clapping so uh, it's a very very uh, active uh, scene of warfare I would say at the moment. OK, thank you, Irina. That's uh, Arti Zorina Galushka reporting from the border, the uh, Turkey-Syrian border, very close to the town of Kobani, where airstrikes, as you can see, are still taking place.